All right, give you guys a little bit of a video here on this Model T. This is after digging out quite a bit of shrubbery and uh, rocks and other things that were just built up over the years over top of this thing. I think this video is going to give you a little bit better idea of kind of how far gone this this T is. As you can see right here, um, this is where the wheel's grown into the tree. I guess it's only grown in, but so far, um, I hadn't cut this tree and counted any rings or anything. Here's the accessory brakes. But um, you can see this stuff's pretty eaten away. Of course, there's asbestos brake pads. Will probably last forever. Looks like it had a um, uh, some kind of bar attached for the uh, brakes. Let's go back to the lever down here. Universal joint actually um, still works. I was very surprised about that. I don't know if you can see the, the movement. I've moved this quite a bit around when I have two hands free and uh, it moves all around. Pretty surprised. Um, these controls here, they're, they're all rusted. Rusted in there and then the metal's exploded in there. It's going to be pretty fun to mess with. All right, you can see the rear over here. I sprayed some PB blaster on this a little bit earlier. As you can see, this frame is just is is worthless now. It's I mean, it's so far gone. Might be a few parts. I can still get off of here, but I'll show you the inside of the transmission. You can see it's pretty eaten up in there. This is what was cool. I loosened the nut up on this earlier <laughs> and this thing spun freely. I thought that was so cool. Um, pulled open this valve color cover earlier and uh, I was kind of surprised too what I saw in there. And these bolts came off very easily the first time. I didn't have to break anything. There you go. The other one's just just the same. Just like it. I sprayed some PB blaster in there. And look, I can actually see some shiny metal in there. Man, really surprised. So, I guess there is some salvage parts on this thing still. See in here though, this is pretty eaten. Still has the. Let's see if it'll. It's not going to show you, but the crank still is in there. I have to bring a flashlight next time. This is my attempt of 
chalking some of the numbers. I can't make out that serial number even, even with uh, with um, etching it. I mean, of course, you can kind of see the Ford made in the USA, um, but that's it's very very far gone, eaten up very well. I mean, this is. Well, I have to take all this stuff apart and see what I can clean up, see what I can save. It's interesting to see how it all works. Very cool that some of it is still somewhat salvageable. Here's uh, the only running board that I found. Of course, you can still see the faint Ford there. And this was a uh, Guessing this is may maybe a diamond pattern. Not sure. There you go. <laughs> Have no idea where some of these other parts went. I'll show you just a few of the parts that I pulled off of this here. Oh, let's see. It's not it. Just uh. Like a valve. What's left of, uh, I guess, one of the outer rims of the wheels. Piece of the frame. Just um, supports. It's like an extra spindle or hub. Maybe you call it here. Part of a spark plug. Um, don't think that went with the car. Let's see. Got to clean some of this stuff up. There's actually an intact rim. I think that is the only intact rim I have. I think the one in the tree is still, but uh, I haven't checked that out yet. Looks like they might have hoisted something off of there. Maybe they were doing some work on it at one time. Found that kind of buried over top of it. Um, there's the head. You can see the inside of it here. Flip it over. There we go. And I guess. That's where it said the Ford and then made in USA. Now, this looks like, I don't know if that's a rough casting or this was repaired at one time. I'm not sure. I have to clean that up and see. It almost looks like it was welded. Here's a uh, manifold. That's the intake manifold, right? I have the exhaust manifold in the garage. I'll show you that. There's a water inlet. Oh, piece of spring. Here's the um, hand crank. Actually, when I was moving that, I uh, broke it off. Just uh, little pieces here and there. Lots of glass uh, was busted around it. It could have been the windshield one time. Old pipes. Uh, another piece of the frame here. Another piece of spark plug. Here is part of frame again. I think that's the front uh, right half of it and this other piece down there was the front left if you're sitting in the car.
I actually found this too, the, uh, the head gasket. I guess this is copper with something in between the two. It says something here. I couldn't make it out. Let's see if, see if I can get my camera to show that there. No, I can't get it done. I wish this thing would just focus. <laughs> well, anyways, it says it's like MC Corral or something, number two. Uh, number 24. So, not sure who made those at that time, but there's the uh, head gasket. Well, all of y'all know what a exhaust manifold looks like, so I will not go grab that. But anyways, that is uh, my Model C, and looks like it's going to at least start some kind of project. Uh, probably won't really start it with this, but um, it's kind of lit or fire under me to pick something up. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little little piece of history that I dug out of the ground. Thanks very much.